All right, here we are. Here we are. Where did we go? Where did we went. We uh, we went this way. Wait. Okay, we're doing this trading quest to breathe underwater. We're going to on rock. Um, so I have to visit Gaia. I did visit Gaia. I upgraded classes. I bought more gear. I have a magic. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to find out. I noticed in the previous, I noticed previously that I noticed previously the camera is in a bad spot. So I have to move the camera, and I don't know if I can do that. We'll see. Uh, for now, let's see. Where am I going? Okay. I'm going to the Desert Caravan. I think this is it. Here. And I have to land here. So I go up this way. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Caravan. Little oasis area. Now let me just make sure my camera's in the right spot so I'm not covering up any dialogue or anything. Welcome. Oh, it's 40,000. The guide said it was 50,000. Okay, so I'm buying it. Thanks. And I think I have to let this out at the uh, Gaia, a hellhound. Take that hellhound. Take that ogre mage. Your puny attacks mean nothing to me. All right. We're going to get, I also notice I say, all right, so a lot, or okay, so, okay, so. Deal with it. I'm going to Gaia. All right, here we are, Gaia. I'm going to let myself down here. Oh. Goodbye, furry. All right, where did that fairy go? He looked important. Okay, this is bigger than I remember it, this town. Or this screen, at least. Okay. I think it's down here. Over here. Up here? Yes. Hi, fairy. You're the ones who rescued me from that bottle. I'm so sorry about running away, but I was just so scared. I'll get I'll get you some oxio from the bottom of the spring to make up for it, okay? Okay. Thank you, fairy. You're my best friend now. Whatever oxio is. You obtain oxio. Yeah. All right. What do we do next? Air will flow out of that water for as long as you have it. Oh. Air will flow out of that water for as long as you have it. I gotta go southeast of Gaia. I gotta go to the other town, Anrock. Fly there. Good, good. Let's go. I wanna be the cool red mage. So this other town... Oh, I remember. This other town... I did... Like I said, I did play this before. Here's Ron Rock. This is Lufenia, but I can't land anywhere. I have to go all the way up here. And I have to land here. But actually, let me. I gotta sleep first. 500 bucks? Man, that inflation is a killer these days. The Black Mage is cool too, but. He just turned into a hot boy band member. He put his hood down. Desert Beretta, that's a new thing. I'm going to hit it, but it's probably got a ton of defense. Holy crap, 80 hit points. I guess the defense wasn't... Oh, his defense is pretty good.
Goodbye. All right, cool. I knew that was going to kill it. I don't know how much H HP it has, but that's okay. When I get to Onrock, I can heal. So all I got to do is make it down there. This is Lufenia. And, oh, Winter Wolf. That's new, I think. Right? I'm going to fire him. You're fired. It's funny. I'm, like, taking them out with an ice attack. Ice sword. Goodbye. Wow, that's going to take a lot of experience uh, points for me to level up. Lufinia. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, wait a minute. This is Lufinia. This isn't... Uh, this is an Onrock. I did a little bit of research, not research, I watched YouTube videos about, uh, this game. It was, like, reviews about this game. And one thing that they said, uh, that was a possible positive, even though it was a criticism, was that if you target an enemy and it dies before you attack it, you your attack will count as nothing. And that was actually, I think, actually a good thing if you're playing this for the challenge of playing the game. It's, it's, it's part of the strategy. And whether that was intentional or not, I don't know. But I do agree that if you're looking for a good game to play... Oh, it's the normal Beretta. If you're looking for a good game to play... Oh, wow. Okay. You just have been... It killed my, killed my aunt, auntie, Antoinette. Uh, it's nice that I can just, pl like, play it as I'm playing it now and not worry about all that. So it's nice to be able to not have to worry about the targeting. But at the same time, if I were playing this, here's the right place. This is Lufenia. If I were playing this, uh expecting a challenge and I wanted that to be part of the strategy I wouldn't mind the targeting not targeting uh or the hits not hitting if I didn't target oh wow I have a lot of gil a lot of HP to the entire party okay so I don't have a white mage that might be an issue if I can't just heal aga but let's just use let's just do that okay that's that's enough Oh, heal Aga. I do have Cure Aga, so that's okay. If I have to heal one person at a time, that's fine. Saber. Raises caster's attack and accuracy. I mean, I guess I can do that. That's not really... I mean, sure, that's fun. That's fine. Fine. There's some more gravestones. Every town... That's sad. Every town has, like, this... A, a graveyard. Oh. Hi, it's a, a dragon. Amazing humans have been honored by the Dragon King. Yeah, that is amazing. You all are losers. We have to come and rescue you from everything. 300 per night. It's better than 500. Uh, get out of my way. You, you have Ox Yale. You're the ones we've been waiting for. Please save the mermaids. Oh, that's a nice... Fl oh. It is a floaty trick. I was going to say, that's a nice floaty trick you're doing. That is legitimately what she did. Do you want to get in the barrel? Get in the barrel! Okay, here we go. Ooh, bubble, bubble, bubble. They should have done that cartoon thing, like, for... Uh, for Legend of Zelda. What was that one? Um, Link's Awakening. Okay, so I remember doing this one, and I remember it's easier than you think. So, there are obviously places I can't go, but I can go right, I can go into that door, go around. Alright, so let's try to hit all the doors. Okay, here we go. Immediately get into a fight. The white sharks and the Sahagan prince. Your puny attacks mean nothing to me. A worm killer, just like that. Okay, I'm going to go to the left first. 
It is a little intimidating if you think, oh, I, I, I only have so many magic spells I can use. I only have so much, uh, you know, so many items I can use. But it does get easier. Oops, went a little too far to the right. Oh, it's a water ele elemental and a water naga. This is scary, so I'm going to kill this one first. <laughs> yeah, I was very scared for no reason. The Nagas are sick looking. I love that. Maybe I should be more afraid of the water elemental. But I ain't afraid of nothing. Lots of gil. I get rich in these places. Oh, sea scorpions. And a sea trolls. I don't know how bad these are going to be, but... The scorpions are... Terrible, typically. But that's good. I took them out right away. Maybe the trolls are gonna... The sea trolls are gonna be worse. Eh, wasn't bad. I don't think they got a hit off on us. Maybe one of the trolls did, but... I feel like I'm really powerful. Then again, um, you weren't necessarily meant to upgrade. Like, like absolutely... It was, I think it was, it's available to upgrade your characters, but it's not 100% necessary. Okay, I need to get, I need to get me some more treasure. Holy cow. Lots of Sahagan princes, or chiefs, and... Oh, so for the... Why are there all these empty rooms? So for the battles, I should move... There you go. That's better. I'm smaller, but that's okay. It's the the game is more important. And that's nice and out of the way so that you can see all the upgrades and whatnot. Okay. Yay. I forgot I can do this too. I can look into all the rooms by pause or by not pausing it, but pressing the button. Oh, I like the cape. Um, the cape. It's not an animation, but it's how the cape looks on the on Antoinette. Oh, I got poison. Poisona. I love that. I love that too. Good job, Scruffy. Leveled up too. Okay, which way am I going? I'm going to try this right staircase first. This goes to 4F. Treasure chest in there, treasure chest in there. There's a treasure chest in literally every other one except for where I am. Okay. These water elementals are actually really tough. So far in here, I've only gotten gill. Diamond armor. Oh my gosh. I really did give myself a... a bit of a difficult setup, but that's okay, because I'm a pro at this type of stuff. Ooh, a ghost. That's new. But I'm just blazing through these battles. I'm not trying to... Ooh, they're strong, too. A light axe. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's so light, it's not even useful. Major Staff. Woo! Yes! Okay. Cool. Now now we're talking. Give me something other people can use. Oh, it's funny how the Major Staff has that wooden sound. Alright, here we are at 5F. This is a new... Okay, I think this is actually, um, yeah, where the mermaids are. So I think, okay, so the, every room has something, in, and I don't think there are any enemies on this floor. Oh, my prayers have been answered. Oh, well, good. I'm happy for you. If the light of the sea is lost, we will turn into sea foam and vanish forever. Oh, no. 
All right, we got 9,000 gil, bunch of gil, and a diamond armlet. One of our friends went to see the world above and hasn't returned. I wonder what she's doing now. I hope she's all right. You can breathe underwater? How? How? Save the sea. Restore light to the water crystal. I will do that. Are those the crystals the legends speak of? Just who are you? Oh. The chest clean. 5,000 gil. This is the uppermost level of the shrine. The crack in the fiend of water nests on its lowest level. You went the wrong way, stupid. While the fiend of water lifts, the light of the sea grows ever darker. Okay. The Mirage Tower stands in the desert to the east of the continent, right? I don't know. While I saw someone going into the tower, I almost or I heard the most lovely chiming sound. Oh, I got an antidote. Thanks. All right, let's see. We got a diamond shield. You know, it might be good to have one black mage, two warriors, and one white mage. That would probably be the most... If the light of the sea is not restored, we will vanish as foam on the waves. All right. Well, that's a lot of gill. Saw just a bunch of zeros. Go this way. This way. Up and over. And then I end up on the other side. How about that? Diamond helm, diamond gloves, and... Rosetta Stone. So I still have to... I have to finish this shrine. And then I will um I'll have I'll go on to the next part, which is I think it's getting really close to the end of the game. Oh, Deep Eyes. That's a new one. But it's I knew it was going to be dead right away. Ooh, we all leveled up. Good job, everyone. Good show. I'm glad I picked the right way. Uh, because I could have gone and fought the Kraken and not gone and done anything else in the in this temple. Ha! Puny shark bites. I don't think shark bite has ever been called puny before, but first time for everything, I guess. Oh, wow. Nice job, Scruffy. Scruffy is really pulling his weight around here. I had my doubts bringing a black mage onto the team. Oh. Okay, we're at 3F. And 4F. This is just going up and down like crazy. Crazy bonkers. Nothing. Great. Thanks for nothing. Literally. So this is just leading me right to the crack in here. That's like there's no maze, there's there aren't like a whole bunch of things that I have to maneuver my way around. Just kill. Ugh. Goodbye, bitches. Monsters. Oh I'm glad it's preemptive. They really do hit hard, and they have a pretty good amount of HP. No, just for Gil. Okay, so I just have to go all the way to the left. Here I go, all the way to the left. Oh, I only have 16 potions left. Not a lot, but I have a ton of high potions, so we're good. Monster before I get the chance to hit the monster. Monsters. I knew it. Water elementals. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so, Pyrolisk is new. No, no, it's not. Uh, King Mummy is new. And they're... Scruffy! Woo! 
Way to go, Scruff. Giant's gloves. Monsters, I bet there's a ribbon in here somewhere. Preemptive strike. Okay, we're gonna do this. We'll just speed this up here. I'm too strong for them. Okay, here we go. This is the ribbon, I betcha. Ooh, a light axe. I'm surprised none of us are getting poisoned, but I don't know if they... I don't know if they poison us. Oh! Okay, there's a guy. Hi, guy! Took him out. Like that. Good. Where's my ribbon? I need a ribbon. Ribbon! Get ready to be poisoned, Frederick. Sorry. There's nothing we can do about it. Uh, these fights seem like they've gotten harder. Like, I'm just encountering a bunch of sne sea snakes every time, and that's some of the harder enemies in this, in this dungeon. Except for the ghost. The ghost is strangely super difficult compared to the others. I think this might be a feature that they added in after the fact, because there's no way that, that they would just let you see all of that in the original game. Jeffrey's pretty resilient to snake bites now, I guess. He's not getting poisoned. I'm gonna doink you on the head with my staff. Oh, the sea scorpion does poison. Sorry, Frederick. I didn't know. All right, here we go. Are we ready? Let's heal everybody up. And we're all equipped with everything we need. Oh yeah, I need to use some, some ethers. Ooh. <clears throat> you humans, you impress. I would have thought to see you here. I would not have thought to see you here. Oops, I met, forgot to say not. That totally changes the meaning of the sentence. Ooh. But do you really think you can defeat the fiend of water here in my own domain? Foosh! These dark depths shall be your tomb. That's what you think, Kraken. Alright, do I protect me? Oh, let me do haste. Let's get some. Let's do some Thundaga. Okay, wow, he's really strong. Except against the. Ah! It's funny. Okay, I'm going to cast haste on Scruffy, because Scruffy's got some strong magic here. And those bitches can't do anything. They're not very strong at all. I have a feeling that it might have something to do with the the electric like elemental. And let's just protect Scruffy here, because he is really important right now. I think that's kind of been a theme here. Oh, wow, 115. That's not bad. It'd be funny if this just... Uh, it'd be funny if that actually just totally uh, killed him. Okay, so he's protected. Let's see what else I can do. Make him invisible. Thundaga. You're just going to keep on trying to do ink, it's going to keep missing us. I'm not complaining, but... <laughs> Scruffy is like super powerful now. God tier Scruffy. <laughs> and he just takes out Kraken in five or six turns. Oh my gosh. Too bad, so sad, you're dead. Goodbye. You didn't land a single hit on me. That's great. Goodbye, Kraken. Too bad, so sad. I think Scruffy's the hero now. What do I... This is the altar of water, from which the power of water flows forth. Okay, cool. Did I take a bath now? Okay, I'm gonna leave. I have the ribbon. I have the Rosetta Stone. I think I have everything that I need. 
Uh, but now I have to travel back to my ship. Into the water. Into the waterfall. I didn't even know there was a... A... Thing here. Is this where I get the bell? I think that might be where I get the bell. I mean, I have total, like, enough hit points and everything to keep going, but... So it's been a few years. I've been learning the uh, Final Fantasy seven piano pieces from the piano collections. I've been having a blast with that. It's such it's so long going because those pieces are so freaking difficult. But um, I mean, I've been able to I've been able to play a few of them like Tifa's theme and um, what else? I think. Oh, that's cool. He did one right after the other. Uh, and the main theme and everything I got uh, I just recently got Final Fantasy IX Piano Collections, and I'm going to be getting... Uh, I'm waiting for the Kingdom Hearts Piano Collections in the mail. So, I hope I can just... If I keep on playing, I'll get better and better, and I'll learn learn the pieces quicker. Because I just love those versions of the songs. Hey, Clay Golem. I know I've fought one of those before, but... Wow. Well. Ooh, a monster. Take that, everyone. Oh, I got a gold needle, too. A chest containing a wizard staff. I have been waiting. Take this cube, Tiamat Flying Fortress, please. Oh, a warp cube. Okay. I think I remember that. All right, now get out of my way. Oh, this is... Okay, there we go. Oh, I got another ribbon. A lot of kill. And defender. Ooh, a green dragon. That's so cool. I love that. That that looks really good. I like that art. I uh, can't remember the name of the guy who did the art, but he did it uh, for he did art for like uh, cartoons, and they wanted him to do the art the same way he did it for cartoons, and that's why they're in these dynamic poses, because nobody knew what the like the style of of uh, RPG is was going to look like. So some of the things with this game, with the first game, I, I know I went over this a little bit when I did the first video, the intro, um, but just seeing a lot of the fantasy enemies, the like the cockatrice and the, you know, anything that you would, you would see in playing like D and D or something. He used a lot of those, or the, the team, they used, I'll, I'll say Sakaguchi, right? I think that's, yeah, Hironobu Sakaguchi. Um, used, it, it's a fantasy game, so he wanted to use sort of like those D&D &D fantasy character, uh, creatures and everything. Um, so, a lot of, but a lot of the creatures were new, um, just kind of like creations that the team came up with, I guess. I'm thinking that that could be a total guess, but it seems about right. Uh, the airship is just right from the beginning. It's a staple. The um, turn-based battle system, although now they're going away from that. Uh, so, trying to think of what else. Oh, the the Titan, which I guess in this version of the game is a giant, and Bahama, which is in most of the games. I don't know if it's... I don't know if there are any games that it's not in, but we'll see, because we're doing this journey. Uh, so, I know that they don't have the ATB battle system yet. That's not something that happened until until the next game, which I'm going to start next month in October. Uh, 
they haven't started they haven't done summons yet which i believe doesn't happen until later until after the next game oh shoot i was gonna buy some some potions i know it's silly to just buy like potions and not like high potions i have more money than i know what to do with And I don't have anything that I need to buy, necessarily. Uh, so, I can go to, I'm going to Lufinia now, okay. An Allosaurus! I feel like that is totally out of character for this game. <laughs> Just a freaking dinosaur. Actually, I remember a, din a dinosaur being in Final Fantasy VIII. And it was like a whole thing in the beginning where it's like attacking everybody. Oh, shoot. Now I I just remembered. Um, I have to get bring the Rosetta Stone to somebody in Melmond. So I just see like different races just popping up. There was a dragon in the one town. There's a dwarf here. They're all like intermingling now. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Just a moment, let me see that tablet. Un. This, this is the Rosetta Stone. This makes it possible to decipher Lufenian. Hmm, of course, yes, of course, that's what that is. That's what, that's what that was. It all makes sense. Here, allow me to express my gratitude by teaching you Lufenian. Oh, that's funny. He's like telling him the words, and then I'm just like turning and just saying it. There, now you can speak Lufenian too. If only it were that easy. If I could just like learn fluent French just by somebody just saying a couple things to me, and then me turning around and just saying it. <laughs> a wyvern. Wyvern. They're not very strong, are they? I'm making very quick progress this time around. Even though I have to backtrack a little bit. I think it's because I'm so strong. It's the Wong. We are the Lufinians, the descendants of the race that once lived among the, cl the clouds, the sky people. You use a vessel you call an airship. It was built by one of our ancestors, a man by the name of Sid, and here introduces the myth, the man, the legend, Everyone knows him, everyone loves him. Sid, the airship maker. That was a little bit much, I know. We have a legend that has been passed down through many generations. According to this legend, 400 years after the fall of the civilization in the sky, where warriors bearing light will come forth to save our people. They're all very passionate and dramatic. The light bearers, bearers. then the legend is true. There's just like one that's just slightly off. 400 years ago, we built a civilization in the highest order. Even beyond the skies we reach. However, that is not for the history now. Or like, the more I talk to them, like, they're like progressively, like, more just kind of out there. A flying, the flying castle floats on a blue sea of stars beyond the sky. Oh, you got a deep voice. This world is composed of four forces, fire, earth, water, and wind. Of these, we showed greatest prowess with the power of wind. High in the sky, we set a castle afloat in the, that azure sea of stars. The sky people would pass on their memories from one generation to the next through rituals. But 400 years is a very long time, and those memories have begun to fade. Could the mechanical beings our ancestors created still function? I don't see why not. We're in one. Ooh, somebody else up here. 400 years ago, we built a civilization the highest... Okay, I think I already spoke to her. Alright. Alright. The castle that floats high above the clouds was once the home of our ancestors. The Mirage Tower is the gateway to that castle. We came to believe there was another entity controlling the four fiends. To ascertain its location, we sent out five warriors, but much time has passed since we heard from them. I hope no harm has befallen them. 
We struggled for our very lives with Tiamat, the Fiend of Wind, but our power was not enough. To this day, her lair remains in the castle in the sky, the Flying Fortress. I didn't know Tiamat was a woman. A female? Tiamat blocks the power of wind, the source of the sky's people's sky people's strength. We placed our last hope in the five warriors we sent out. It's been said they fell victim to the curse of the fiends and were turned into bats. Oh. Before you leave, legendary warriors, take this chime with you. It will grant you passage into the Mirage Tower. Oh. I got the chime. Cool. Now I can go to the Mirage Tower. Oh, I forgot there was this thing here. Ah, uh, nobody can have. I can't do full life. Ugh. Okay. Well, I hope my null death works. Ooh, flare. I have flare. Yes. Well, hopefully that's powerful enough without needing full life. I hope I don't have to start this whole thing over again with a white mage, just in order to beat it. <laughs> Try to run away. You won't succeed. Okay, cool. This is just one... Oh, guardians. They're just gonna keep shooting poor Frederick. At least he didn't get paralyzed this time. Those are some interesting enemies. Like, this is all sci-fi now. Monsters? Oh, a tent. Ooh, Chimera. And I'm taking it out very easily, apparently. I guess shield. A bunch of gill. A vorpal sword. Ooh-hoo-hoo-hoo. Hoo. And some wear tigers and the saber tooth. All new enemies for an all new dungeon. And it looks like I'm just blasting through them. The saber tooth seems like it could be like the behemoth. I don't think we've seen a behemoth, have we? Healing helm. Okay, let's see what kind of equipment we got we've gotten so much stuff now we're just <laughs> we're just filtering through this stuff the black knight is really cool it's a it's kind of funny how they're just i feel like the best enemies are being brought out here blaze oh is that what <laughs> is that what scruffy has that's not very powerful maybe i shouldn't have gotten it or i'll just not use it if that's how powerful it is. Or how powerful it's not. Spiral! Woo! A blue dragon. Okay, they're a little bit stronger now. A little bit stronger now. A little bit stronger now. And they're killing Frederick. Don't kill Frederick, he's a nice guy. He's our friend. Some gill, some gill. Thor's hammer. Some gill, some gill. Who can use Thor's hammer? Dragon mail. And of course, only the warrior can use it. I should have just like cheated and looked at all of the treasure and then just decided where I needed to go. Our friend left on, left on a journey to the west. He took the warp cube and went to see our master. Yeah, I found your friend and we got the warp cube from him. You're a little behind there, bud. Okay, fight a blue dragon. Of course, attack my weakest guy. Alright, and then 
use the warp cube to travel beyond the sky. It will take you to the flying fortress. All right, I'm ready. Let's go to the flying fortress. Guess I have to use magic on these guys. Yeah. I don't have, well, I guess I have all the ethers I need. An air elemental and a spirit naga. Hmm. Okay. Not bad, not bad. What's funny is that I'm like, I feel like I'm almost to the end of the game. And I'm attacking with only like 300 points of damage. Well, okay, so there has been like 500 points of damage here and there. But, I mean, that's that's a far cry from 9999 when you get into the other games. Earth Medusa. Why is it Earth Medusa? You're in the air. They're actually really easy. That one was under 200 hit points. I like these enemies. I love the Black Knight. I love the Chimera. I think they're really cool. Healing Helm. Oh, that's the one I have to look at. Protect ring. Death Knight. Okay, that's gonna be a. I hope he's not gonna be too strong. Oh, bl he tried to cast Blind on me. Oh, there he wasn't that bad. A little push over. I can almost level up Scruffy again. Okay, so there are five levels to that. That was level one. We're almost done. Some gill. Some gill. I need a a, a guide. Ooh, a stone golem. Wow, Jeffrey's sword is pretty strong if it can slice through stone that easily. Diamond shield we can't use. A ribbon, which we can use. So is everybody should... Actually, that is, that is a good point. Everybody should have ribbon on them. Because it protects against all status effects. Black robe. White robe. Oh, hello. From this observation window, you can look out on the entire world. Go. Protect cloak. Clothes. More gill. Gold needle. Oh. That's nice. I'm using that. Here we go. The observation window looks out upon the world. The four forces of fire, earth, water, and wind appear as mist converging on a single point. A point at the center of the four altars. This must be the location of the Chaos Shrine. Ooh. That's cool. It's a little fancier than they had in the original Final Fantasy. Um, okay, so I'm going to check out Dark Fighter. Kiraga. Oh, well, that was whelming, underwhelming. Analyzing Tiamat, no known weakness. Oh. I think that's just what the other ones are going to be. Ooh, Fire Hydra. Can you be my friends? I like, don't bite me, ouch. A lot of new enemies here. Oh, a soldier. Soldier and guardian. Now we're good. I'm going to see what Tiamat is weak against. Here we go. The the lick, the lick, the lich, Merilith, the Kraken. You have defeated three fiends and reached my lofty perch. Yes, we did. I don't think I got the adamantite. All the better may the image of Tiamat, the fiend of wind, be the last to burn in your eyes. All right, same plan as last time, and I'm just going to haste him. All right, everybody heal themselves. High potion, high potion. 
Um, I'm gonna protect him. And he is gonna still use it for Piraga. Oh, sorry, Frederick, you're out. And Jeffrey. Hopefully he doesn't do a... Okay, good, I have... Yikes. It's pretty tough. Well, he took out my people. I don't know what I should do. It was exactly 138. That's funny. Okay, we're gonna start attacking. I'm just gonna use... I don't know if Quake is gonna work, but we'll see. Yeah, of course it missed because it's a... That was, that was a bad decision, but... Okay, I'm going to high potion the shit out of myself. Attacks. Ice Storm. He's got all kinds of magic crap going on. Or protect this time. And we'll do Furaga. Furaga. Oh boy. Keeps on using Ice Storm. It's not going to be good. I need to take this guy out quickly before he blasts everybody away. I mean, I could have some things that just protect against specific things. Heal Antoinette. Heal Antoinette. And Scruffy is the only one who can do any serious damage. That was a good decision. They're all basically healers for Scruffy. That's Lizaga. If I could just keep up Scruffy's uh... HP, then I think I can ride this out to the end of the battle. This is a, a, kind of a sad way to do this, but it's really the only option I have, right? Okay, who's lowest? Him. Um, I'm going to try attacking him. Yeah, and there's nothing else I can... I mean, I'm pretty close to full health. Yeah, well, that's not going to work because... Oh, dang. That didn't work very much. Sorry, Tiamat. Today is not your day. Alright, goodbye, Scruffy. Sorry. That was it. I'm just gonna try attacking. Goodbye. Nope. Poison gas? What was that? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I won, won by the skin of my teeth. That was totally luck. That was not skill by any stretch of the imagination. I'm going to have to do a lot more grinding in order to, <laughs> like, leveled up. Well, Antoinette's doing okay. Can't say so much for everybody else. I don't know how I'm going to beat Chaos. Because I don't have anybody who can cast heal. I'm going to have to really, like, grind and grind and grind and level up to too much. Sorry, everybody. You went down like sacks of potatoes. <laughs> okay, I guess I still have to get adamantite here. Oh, there's not a treasure chest, that's why. And I couldn't see it. I wonder what other things I missed because I thought that they were treasure chest. They should have been treasure chests and there was nothing in the room. And it didn't show anything. 